Okay, and this this is the second part of uh, the HTML course that I'm doing. And um, if you followed the first one, this is really what it should be looking like. Uh, something like that. Um, as I described before, you need HTML, title, head, uh, body, and I showed about uh, the red, and a paragraph, and that's where we were. So, um, I'll just come out of there. And this is uh, basically what it should look like on the browser. And um, we'll just knock that one down and we'll uh, do a few things on here. So there's one or two things I would like to to um, teach this lesson. And um, uh, the first one is about the title. The actual title, as I mentioned um, in the first video about the head, this is where um, JavaScript, some of your CSS can go if it's linked perhaps to a, another CSS page um, and meta tags and description of your web t uh, website and keywords and all sorts of things like that. So the real title needs to go between the head if it's going to be re uh, correct and validated and that type of thing. So if we just um, cut that and uh, cut it and paste between the head and this is just to make it correct your web page will work without it but um, just to make everything um, uh, spot on so that's the first thing the second thing I would um, I would like to do is to um, about comments in every language and uh, program languages included the um, they have this uh, they all have their comments and that is when uh, when you have got stacks of lines of code, you really want to um, be able to know where everything is, and if you need to edit it in the future. Uh, and this is what you do in HTML. So you've got the uh, back tag and the front tag, and in between that you have um, output equal signs because I find these as uh, easy for me to read. Uh, some people just put dashes like that. Um, I prefer to put equal signs. So I'm going to put that as my first first comments. Now this shouldn't really work um, and I'll show you why that shouldn't. And every designer has made this mistake probably in the, um, in the past. So just save that. Put up the uh, browser and there you have it. You've got my first comments. Well, we don't really want that in your web page because if if you looked at the source code of many web page on the and on, uh, on the web, you'll find that lots of designers use my co uh, comments and that, and it's their way of uh, expressing what they're actually trying to do. So we'll come out of there, and we'll do it properly. And the the thing that it's so easy to do is this symbol so it's usually found on the left side of your keyboard and that's that that's all it is just that and that'll uh, that'll make your comments not come up on the browser so we'll just come out of there save this and there you go that's how it should look now the next thing is one of the most exciting things I would like to um, teach on here is about putting graphics in. And we're just going to uh, put our first image in. So we just, where it is, is the back tag. And we're going to put image source. And that is equals. So what that means is IMG SRC is a short form of image source. And the source is where the image is going to be found. Well, on here, um, I've got one just in uh, my folder where I've got these little uh, this little course. And it's here. Um, I'll put one as bat out of hell, but we're going to put the one bat. So what that's going to be is we're looking for the, um, the image source, which is going to equal bat. But we put this as... Um, inverted commas and we're going to put it's a jpeg or jpg bat dot jpeg and we actually close off image source um, by putting a forward tag there 
So what that's going to do, if we again file, save, and this is what we do when we have to change something, and we put this up, and there's your, there's your image. And this is, uh, the web will be really boring without images, and when I was uh, learning and, and that, there was very few of them about, and um, but it is, it's, uh, it's an exciting when you've got images and that type of thing, and you can you can really animate stuff on that now. So that's uh, that's what I wanted to teach in this lesson. Um, we really should put a forward slash on there. And this is the, the new way of doing uh, things um, with HTML. So what we've, and I'll just file, save, and just test again. And it's a lot of testing when you, you be doing uh, HTML. And so what we've already learned in these two lessons is um, HTML tags, the forward, the back tags, uh, the head, where to put the title, which is in the uh, the head of the page. And everything else goes under the body, as I've said. And uh, we've learned how to use comments. And we've also learned how to do one of the exciting things on, on, the, on the web. And that is by putting in um, an image and it's that easy um, so i hope you've uh, learned something from this and uh, enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe and if you uh, have any comments or questions just get in touch with me so um, thank you for watching and thank you for listening